this man since shortly after he was born. Uh, about a year. Yeah, about a year and two days. Walter was born on August 7th, 1960. I was born on August 9th, 1961. And the band played on from there with our sister being born on August 15th of 1962. Wow. <laughs> yes, Mama and Papa. So, um, so we've known each other quite closely all of our lives. Up until Walter found the Lord, and the Lord said, come hither to a land far, far away, where you shall do my bidding and forsake your family. <laughs> hey, sometimes it's like that. Sacrifices must be made. But my brother was willing to make that sacrifice. He was willing to move to a strange land that he did not know and simply be obedient to the word of the Lord. And so now, a few years, three years later, I've flown all the way from Austin, Texas, along with my new bride, Sarah, to stand here and witness this rematrimony. And this time, being a man, as I told you this morning, you are not the Walter that you were. You are now the Walter that has been made by your sacrifice and obedience to the Lord. Amen. Amen. And that was the reason. And that was the reason that you captured this woman's heart and her, I'm going to say the word, obedience. Because she was on her own path as well. And she had to find the Lord, hear the call, accept the call, obey the call in answering it. And then find that this guy was saying, hey, I want to get to know you for one reason and one reason only. Because I intend to marry a godly woman. Okay? <laughs> and now, we can't stop him from kidding. It's supposed to be a day in the day. Okay. So now, here they are. I'm saying all of this because I want you to know that I am a witness. I'm a witness to all that he has been, and I'm a witness to all that he is, and I will be a witness to all that he is yet to become, because I know him as no other can from the inside and out. So I want you all to know that this man stands before you, an honest and true man of God. And that is my testimony. Thank you. Oh. Uh -huh. 